You know how they say you spend 30 years of your life asleep and four years on the toilet and stuff like that? I wonder if you add it all up, how much time I've spent at the side of a stage going, well, they're still clapping, they're cheering. No one's actually said the word more. I don't know if I should, it's getting quieter. If I don't go down, oh, they've stopped. Okay, bye, bye. <laughs> Fuck that. Walk off for five seconds, walk back on, force that encore down their throats. <laughs> Because this is one of the few jobs in the world where you're happy to do more work for no more money. You wouldn't encore in your office, would you? No. <laughs> Five o'clock in the afternoon, your boss comes in applauding. <laughs> oh, put your coat back on the chair. <laughs> it's not unpaid overtime, it's an encore. Where's your sense of show business? <laughs> I've seen what your shows. What a humble brag that is. No. To have a routine about encores. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen your shows that people do want encores. Because yeah. so you, you've got a great sense of timing. You always get off when you know they're wanting just a, just little, a little bit, bit more. more and, yeah. then, and then do an encore just to uh, absolutely drive home the point that they didn't. What, yeah. what, I, I, found that, <laughs> I found that triggering, though, because mm. I hate uh, bands now. That oh, whole yeah. farce at the end where the encore, and w whether I want one or not, I'm forced to clap along. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's too happens. long. It's, it's too, too much. long. You do think sometimes, like... I, Guns N' Roses, like, is Axl Rose actually gone for a dump? They're in the limo. I, I just, I do it now as a matter of course. I just say, right, I'm, like, I do, I, I absolutely just telegraph it now, so there's just no doubt. I go, okay, I'm going, I'll, I'll leave you with this. And then, uh, <laughs> I'm going to turn around straight back. But sometimes, I don't know if you ever, this, where you're, like, standing on the side of the stage waiting to do an encore, and there's people in the audience, and they can see you standing there. <laughs> and I'm just like... Even if they didn't want an encore, they're like, oh, well, he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we were talking parenting styles tonight. Do yeah. you have your, your own parenting style? Uh, no, I, I, do you know what? I think when it comes to parenting, I, I have a slight resentment, not of my children, <laughs> but just the fact that... I remember thinking when my, when my kids were quite young, when they were sort of four and six, and I came to the realisation realization that I, I feel like the amount of parenting I'm expected to do versus the amount of parenting I myself received. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really changed over the years. Like yeah. I could literally, at the age of four and six, I could have left my children in a field and never seen them again. <laughs> I had already done more parenting than my dad did <laughs> in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> You've just given me something else to feel really good. Really <laughs> <laughs> this has been quite the uplifting show for you today. <laughs> um, your show yeah. that people can see here in New Zealand is called If I'm Being Honest. Um, are you usually a really honest person? Is this... Yeah, well, I, what it is about taking an honest look at myself, and it's actually oh. to do with the whole parenting thing, because it's the fact that, uh, as a parent, one thing that I discovered about parenting is that nothing in this world will ever annoy you as much as your own child. Uh -huh. mm. And the reason your children are so annoying is because they're annoying in ways you recognise in yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's irritating. That's strangely familiar. <laughs> so it's, it, it, they remind you of all your worst. So I, but I'm taking a, a long, hard look at myself and trying to decide, what about me? Is, is it worth passing on to these kids? What about me is worth preserving for the next generation? Nice, yeah. And I won't give it, no spoilers, but I come up pretty short. <laughs> <laughs> I read in some publicity that you said this is the best show you've ever done. We don't appreciate that sort of confidence in New Zealand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, it, it's had great reviews. I, although I did get a review just now. I was in I was at the Melbourne Comedy Festival, which I've decided over there. I have no idea where, what direction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. I got a five star review from Time Out Melbourne, but they also referred to me as sprightly. Oh. <laughs> 51. That hurts. <laughs> 51 might be too old to wear a blazer and a t-shirt. <laughs> also too young to be called sprightly. <laughs> sprightly is what you call, you know, your granddad if you can still run for a bus. It's like, <laughs> I kind of feel the five stars they gave me was, you know, to, to mimic the ones I apparently see when I get out of a chair. <laughs> <laughs> you look good. It's kind of sad for our comedy festival tonight. All these gigs cancelled know, around right? Auckland. Yeah. Have you ever had a get cancelled for the... For weather. Um, there was a few coming out of lockdown yeah. where oh, they were quite weather-dependent depend because they were outdoors. Because yeah. that was, like, most of the sort of... Just as we were coming out of lockdown, there was a few gigs that were coming online. We, we had, like, drive-in shows, and but some of, the, some of the ones where people were sitting out, yeah, they, if, if they got yeah. rained off. Mm. Drive-in shows are weird. They let you know they're laughing by honking their horns. <laughs> <laughs> and if they really like a joke, the equivalent of applauding, they flash your lights. <laughs> <laughs> You need two more aggressive ways of letting somebody know that. Like, uh, you want an encore? Do that. <laughs>
Uh, don't miss him while he's here. Ed Stewart uh, kicks off this Thursday at Auckland. <laughs> then he goes to Wellington, Christchurch, Tauranga and Palmerston North. Palmy. 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 Yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's a new one for me. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not selling. You won't. <laughs> <even. laughs> They'll turn up on the day. Trust me. Yeah. Palmy, don't let me down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's all part of the New Zealand International Comedy Festival and all the ticket info is on our Facebook page. Give it up for Ed Burr! <laughs>